Look, there's a bunny over there. Look at the bunny. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing the ch most shallow marketing tactic in the book. Click on my video because we have cute little animals. Hello, subscribers. Um, you lovely, lovely subscribers. Almost 200 of you now. That was a bit of a shock. As far as I'm aware, you're all real. You're not spam bots or figments of my imagination. Um, hi, I'm Stuart. Um, thank you for watching. Um, thank you for supporting me if you've liked my videos or commented. And I'm sorry if I haven't responded, but I'm just like I don't I don't want to come across like a dick but I'm a busy forgetful person so I'm sorry if I haven't talked to you if you've talked to me I will try and fix that um so yeah I thought I'd just do a mildly interesting update video by coming to a field because I was bored of loads of videos of me sat on my sofa my first external location wow um so yeah mildly interesting update time um, only mildly interesting because we're out here for a change. Look, there's a tree over there. It's like it's something interesting in the frame. So yeah, I just thought I would let you all know where everything is so we're all on the same page and we all know what videos I'm going to be putting out there if you feel like you ser seriously have nothing better to do than watch them. Why would you watch them, you crazy people? What the hell is wrong with you? God, I really should stop putting people off. Please watch my videos. Please keep watching me. It's really good for my ego. Um, so, yeah. Uh, notes. Uh, he who moans. You will have seen my announcement and accompanying video of me trying to um, placate anyone which might want to send me death threats over some of the stuff I'm about to say over the course of June about the current showrunner, Stephen Moffat. Um, by the way, Moffat, thank you for 20 new frames of footage and a vague announcement of your start date. <laughs> yeah, thank you for saying, August! We're not going to tell you when, Stuart, so you can plan accordingly. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's starting soon. Hopefully it's going to be good. Fingers crossed. Um, yeah, he who moans, if, if, as has been said, season 8 is going to be like 13 episodes long, I've got enough he who moans to last me until the end of the year, so they're going to keep coming out every Sunday, like clockwork. Um, so you will have some, not hopefully, hopefully insightful or amusing Doctor Who-based videos to watch. Um, they're about a variety of topics. I've decided to fuck structure, like structure out the window. Apart from this Moffat month, I'm just going to do random ones that I feel like, because, well. If I if I did th thanks to the guy who suggested um, a com series of companion retrospectives, by the way, I think that's an interesting idea. I'm probably just going to do it at random though, because some of them I probably wouldn't have much to say about. Um, that and I might end up getting bored about halfway through, so I'm probably going to do ones of those at random. Um, but yeah, it was a good idea. Thank you. Um, uh, other notes, so yeah, he who moans, we've got that, that order of business out of the way, I'm just going to continue doing it, and if people want to sling death threats my way, then fi fine, fine, I'm just going to continue doing it, because I like doing it, and some people like me doing it, so yeah, that's my justification. Um, so, next order of business. Illustrated review of Fifty Shades of Darker, you may have seen that I've started it again, it's been a fucking bitch of a project to get started with. I've had loads and loads of problems. Um, most of them are to do with me having far too much faith in this camcorder. Um, yeah, I've had it about seven years now, and I didn't realise that the sound <laughs> that the sound would end up being that bad if I tried to shoot it in certain places. But by, by which I, by which by which I mean not my house. Um, yeah. I mean, I had to try this video in several different places because the uh, wind would sort of blow into the mic here. Um, but yeah, as I said in my last video, I tried to get a bit more experimental with it. It didn't work. I had lots of sound issues that I had to try and fix. Um, and record recording from this camera in my house, because my house, if you don't if you don't know, I moved out since the first series, and my new house has a weird echo to it. Um, so you may have noticed a slight sound quality reduction 
in my recent videos. Um, but yeah, I've powered through and I've got about 15 of them shot so far. I'm currently in editing. I'm really hoping that the epilogue ends up looking how I want it to look. Because damn, I've been ambitious with it. I've, I, I really need to just calm down and re recognise, Stuart, you are one man with a camera. Like, <laughs> ca calm down. You're lucky for these videos to look and sound as good as they do. Which is it's far from professional, but yeah. Um, but yeah, um, Illustrated Review of Fifty Shades of Darker is going to continue through to the end. I'm, I'm happy with the ones that I've got and that I'm putting out. Um, but yeah, uh, I probably did talk it up a bit too much because yeah, I r really need. I would like one of those big, massive cameras which w looks really good and I can do HD and things. <laughs> um, yeah, like I have money, um, <laughs> as my videos kind of indicate. But yeah, Fifty Shades Review, it's going to keep going, I'm content with the videos, I'm probably not going to do Fifty Shades Freed for quite a while, because I would like to try lots and lots of different stuff after I've finished it. Uh, which moves, on to, moves us on to Order of Business 3! Other crap that isn't the things that I've been wasting most of this year with, so, <laughs> wasting most of the year with so far. Um, okay. TV Dissection is the vague title of a series of voiceover TV reviews. It's, ju it's just your bog standard format, really, of sort of like he who moans, of me talking about various TV shows from my childhood, like, a like the cynical twat that I am, or modern TV shows, because I watch a lot of TV and I'm generally disgusted with the state of what adults are supposed to watch. Like, ser like seriously, I've watched quite a lot of ITV recently just because I want some stuff to write about and God is there a lot of material there. So yeah, general voiceover TV reviews, I'm calling it TV dissection as in this is me putting a, putting a TV show under a microscope and cutting it to pieces and seeing if I can figure out how it works and why because um, because, yeah, I just find it very interesting, because I would... It, it, it is a stupid, stupid, vague dream of mine to get into TV one day. I'm, cu I'm, currently, write I'm currently writing a couple of things that I want to try and pitch eventually, if I can figure out how to do it. Um, the, yeah, what was that thing I said in my first one, video? That, that, that was it. You've got to keep chasing your dreams, even if it's stupid, which I admit it is. Um, but yeah, I'm writing lots of things, and I think studying how crappy TV shows work. Um, I, th I think that I think that would be I think that would be the fun thing to do. I will offer you some examples. I will offer you some I would offer you some examples of shows to, that I'm going to write about, but I haven't chosen any of my subjects yet. So I've just been randomly scrolling things. Um, so yeah, that's another thing. Um, and after my Fifty Shades review is finished, I'm going to move on to Stu Bagful's Literary Review. You may have heard me mention this a couple of times. I want to take, like, random books that no one ever really thinks that much about and, and critically analyse them. Like, I, I, want to, like, I want to take, like, say, gardening books or kids' books or, like, or, like workout books and try and analyse them as if they were a piece of literature. Okay, I do know where I'm going with this. I, at least, I, at least I think I know where I'm going with this, and it's not going to come until at least October, because by that point I will probably have finished my Fifty Shades review, and a plane is coming overhead. Wow, what an interesting noise! It's like this video has got lots and lots of stuff in it. Yeah. Piss off, plane. I want to talk to my viewers. Go on. I think it's going. Um, yeah, but Stu Bagpool's literary review. Um, it's going to be taking, say, like, like I just, like, I just basically went to a charity shop and bought loads of shit books that everyone, that people have given away and don't really want. Um, like I bought, I bought, I bought this book called Gardening Without a Garden, which is basically, which is basically, this lady who I think was on a TV, who was on some sort of daytime TV show or something, explaining how you can gar how you can garden if like you live in a flat or something. So what I'm going to do is combine that with a book about philosophy. Sort of, sort of, sort of, sort of like the garden is a meditative state. Okay, okay, this sounds this sounds a bit stupid as I'm explaining it, but I'm eventually going to work out how to do it. Um, but yeah, basically, Stu Bagpool's literary review is going to be 
anti-literature criticism, I'd call it. So, 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 so sort of just for the, sort of tiny crap bits of media. Like, oh, I also wanted to do um, another one that I've already got started on is an analysing the Highway Code as a piece of literature with a character arc, with a character arc and a protagonist and an antagonist. I wanted to see if I can figure see if I can figure out how to make that look. Because yeah, I have far too many, uh, I have far too many ideas. It's actually kind of annoying. I end up spending about ninety percent of my spare time on this weird random crap that I put out for you people. Um, but yeah, I really need a producer, <laughs> like someone to tell me, Stuart, calm down, focus on one thing, then do the next thing, then do the next thing. That thing is shit, by the way. Don't do it. Then do the next thing. Oi, um. But yeah, so those are basically my plans and that's how the rest of this year is going to progress for this channel. So I probably won't end up putting out another one of these for quite a while. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me. I really appreciate it. Um, uh, have a fun rest of the year. Um, I will probably give you an update at some point. I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, so now let us look at this, at the exterior location. Um, isn't it pretty? It is a first for my channel. Actually, was it? I think I think I have done one exterior location before, one or two. I can't remember. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Th thank you for watching. Uh, please continue watching my.